In this video, we'll be making some simple changes to the Silverado's interior to give it a little bit more of a premium feel. These will not result in some massive change to your interior. I have a much larger change planned for a future video, but they will give you that one little extra touch of premium appearance and feel in your Chevy Silverado. The first change we'll be making is swapping out this hard plastic cluster visor. These trucks have a really nice kind of soft touch leather-like material. It may be real leather, I'm not sure, but it's a leather-like material at least across the front of the dash with a stitched look to it. And that's really nice, but unless you bought an LTZ or a high country trim, you get stuck with a hard plastic cluster visor, whereas the LTZ and the high country have a leather wrapped and stitched cluster visor that just looks a little bit nicer and a little bit better. So we're gonna be removing this hard plastic cluster visor by knocking up on the bottom of it to pop it out of the clips. And once you get a couple of the clips loose, you can just apply some upward pressure and it snaps right out. This is our new cluster visor. You can see it has the stitching on it with the leather wrap material. Installing the new cluster visor is extremely simple. All you have to do is line the clips up with their respective locations on the dash and then push them in. As you can see, this extremely simple swap just provides a little more premium appearance to the area of the truck that your eyes will be engaging with every time you drive this truck. But we aren't quite done yet. There's still one more interior swap that we're gonna be doing in this video. So let's get to it. The next part of this video is going to be replacing this stock factory sill plate. It's just this kind of silver with this chrome border around it and the line through the middle with one that has the Silverado script. There are two types of sill plate replacements that are factory for the Silverado. You have the one here that is just this silver that's polished with the Silverado script in it. And then you also have one where you just replace this center panel, not the entire sill plate, with an illuminated Silverado script. And you run wires to get that illumination hooked up so that when you open the doors, it lights up and you close it, it goes off. I decided to just do this one. Uh, an illuminated sill plate just isn't something that really intrigues me all that much. And this sill plate replacement is much more cost effective than the illuminated sill plate. So we're just gonna do a quick little swap, get the silver outer script in, and then we'll be ready to enjoy our really simple interior upgrades. The first thing you gotta do is remove the seat side panel right here. It should be as simple as popping it up out of the clips. I'm going to remove this floor mat so that I can get to these pieces a little easier. Now we're going to work the sill plate starting from the back and working our way forward. When you get the bottom section loose, you're just going to pull it back out of the front. But in the new one, you're just going to slide it into this front section here. Pop it in. And then all I've got to do is snap it in along the bottom. Now we've got the door sill plate back in. We're going to put the seat panel back on. There are little slots that go along the back here and that's where these prongs slide into. And once you got the prongs in, just push it down. And 
And now that's snapped in place and that's a quick little driver's side replacement. We'll go over, do the passenger side, and then we'll take a final look at these new pieces on the interior. Well, there you have it. That's two very simple changes to the interior just to give it a little more of a premium feel. If you want to see some other changes to the interior that I made, you can check out this video right here. That's two additional very simple changes that you can make just to add a little bit more of a premium feel to your Chevy Silverado. Thanks for watching. This is Southpaw Garage signing out.